Palau Real and the Count's property. It is surprising to find the Palau de Pedralbes, symbol of the aristocratic architecture from the past, among the modern buildings, the colleges in Diagonal, and the quiet Ramon Maria Roca y Sastra Square. Surrounded by impressive gardens, the palace was originated in an old 17th century farm, reformed by the industrialist and patron of the arts, Eusebi Guell, to turn it into the center of his vast property, known as Finca Guell, in the late 19th century. This way, the farm gave place to the little Caribbean-style palace, which can be seen today. Antoni Gaudí was hired to design its surrounding walls and part of the gardens, some of which original elements are still visible. Among these elements, there is the famous Font d'Hercules, with its lovely wrought-iron dragon through which water comes out. The emblematic Porta del Drac was the north access to Finca Guell. It is flanked by the stables and the watchman's house. The whole complex is one of Gaudí's first works. While building it, he experimented on some of the architectural elements, which would later allow him to build the Sagrada Familia. Torre Blanca is a kind example of the freshest modernism. This property stopped being a single-family residence in 1984 to become a bar restaurant, which allows us to enjoy it from a more relaxed point of view. Equally remarkable is the visit to the renowned Torre Girona, residence of a complete rural descendant bourgeois oligarchy, which went through trade and industry. The tower was presided by a sumptuous house, which nowadays holds the rectorate of the Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya, as well as the supercomputer Mare Nostrum, located in the old chapel of the residence. This walk also allows us to enjoy places like Eusebi Guell's Gardens, Torre More, Caso Orzado, or the property Can Canet de la Riera, a medieval house which nowadays holds the Real Club de Tennis Barcelona headquarters.